So you're in Legion, you've got to Dalaran, you've completed your artifact quest. Now you're wondering, how do I get to High Mountain? Well, I'll show you. It's actually very, very straightforward. Similar to um, Volshara and Azuna, there isn't much prerequisite required to actually get to High Mountain. Obviously, there is the requirement of one, getting to uh, Dalaran in the Broken Isles, and two, obtaining your artifact weapon. I have two quests, uh, two quests, two videos in the description outlining how to do both of these. Now, the obtaining the artifact weapon is based primarily around a protection warrior, but the concept actually applies to all classes and all specializations. So don't worry too much about that. It's just a basic concept of following a quest chain, which is, to be honest, pretty straightforward in most classes and most specializations. Now, to get to High Mountain, what you first need to do is get to what's known as, well, it, for a warrior, it's the Eye of Odin. For other classes, it's going to be different. Um, I forget the names of the others, but basically you're looking for the scouting map. Now, this basically acts in um, Legion as your sort of like garrison missions, or in this case, your class 4 missions. You need to access your quote-unquote class 4 missions or scouting map, Select the area you want to go to. Now, this, obviously, this is the first time you ever go in there because you're obviously watching this video and you've never got there before. Or if you haven't, this is how you actually got there. So we want to go to High Mountain, so we first need to select High Mountain from the scouting map. Then we need to accept the quest, the Lone Mountain. Now, once we've accepted that, I'd like to also point out that, that even if you've actually started another zone, you can come back to your class um, hall and then just reselect another area. That's what I've actually done. I've actually been to all three uh, other zones. As you can see, Valshara and Dalaran. Well, Dalaran's always going to be there. Valshara is there. I've already been to Stormheim. I've already been to Azuna and Valshara. So High Mountain's the last in my little quest video log. So I shall show you how to get there as well. Now, usually the first thing is to speak to um, Kadgar. In this case, it's not. We're speaking to Warbrave Oro. The Lone Mountain greets champion. I am Warbrave Oro of the High Mountain Tauren. I come on the winds of war to find you. Ugh. I with a grim message. <sighs> Keeps of the Hammer. Meet the Mylam High Mountain at Thunder Totem in High Mountain. High Mountain stand. Now, similar to uh, Valshara, you need to use the flight path. Champion, the war brave has good intentions. I should. Quickly good now, friend. after him. His people are your best chance at an ally on that mountain. Now, Azuna, if I'm correct, is the only one where Khadgar will take there directly. Valshara and High Mountain, you actually have to use the flight path. On Stormheim, you actually have to do a little bit of a quest path and a scenario that involves either, uh, I can't remember, something uh, bite, bright call or bite call, or I can never remember it. Um, and then if for Alliance, it's like Glenn's, again, something or other. Some, he's basically a worgen. Now, I'd have to, you have to admit, I like flying to High Mountain, because High Mountain is the only one that it flies directly over Sumera, and you get to actually have a good look at the environment. Now, in the other flight paths, you don't get to see this much. You just basically see the area you're flying over, which I feel is always a bit lost when you're actually uh, exploring a new sort of like map or area, or in this case, the whole of the Broken Isles. Now this, for me, was quite enjoyable the first time. Less enjoyable the second time, because I've already seen it all. But not too disappointing, I am enjoying the flight. Um, just a quick mention, I have mentioned this a few other times in the past, that it doesn't matter what area you start in. It All areas are basically progressive, apart from Sumra, which is level 110, and you basically get mashed on if you try and go there at any level. Stormheim, High Mountain, Valshara, and Azuna are all progressive zones, and by that I mean whatever level you get there at, everything in that level will be balanced for your level. So, for instance, if you come to High Mountain first, all the mobs in High Mountain are going to be level 100. If you go to Stormheim first, all the mobs there are going to be level 100, Valshara, and so forth and so forth, you get the idea. If you arrive at High Mountain at level 107, all the mobs in the area will be around 107, so it doesn't matter which you choose as a starting area. Personally, 
Now, this is just down to personal preference. I like choosing Stormheim. I it could be because I know the zone a bit better because I ran it a few times and I kind of I did enjoy Stormheim actually. I find um, the bonus objectives were slightly easier and the quest paths again were slightly easier. Um, one of the harder zones I th felt was Azuna. I'm not saying it's the hardest, and I'm not, you know, it could just be from my class or my basically, you know, my build or something like that. But basically, I I found that the most difficult. And I'm not saying it is impossibly difficult. I'm just saying it's the most difficult. At this point now, we are actually in High Mountain. So as far as this um, video is is concerned, technically it's complete. But I will show you just quickly the first quest you need to go and speak to, uh, well, the first quest NPC you need to go speak to in High Mountain, just to uh, ease things along for you. Basically, Mela, who's right in the center of Thunder And there we have it. We should now be starting quest chains, and we're now in High Mountain.